In this video, I'm gonna be making taco crock pot hash brown casserole. Uh, this is, uh, it sounds like a really, really easy recipe. I saw it on Facebook and it has all of these ingredients that we like, that Kevin and I both like, so I figured it wouldn't hurt to give it a try. You need one pound of ground beef. You need some cheddar cheese soup and I bought the Campbell's brand. You need a frozen shredded hash browns, and we like the Orida brand. Again, you can use any brand you want. You need two cups of uh, shredded cheese, usually used like taco style. When we went to Kroger, they only had the Mexican style, which is fine, absolutely fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need some Rotel, and I bought the Rotel with diced tomatoes and green chilies. You need a taco seasoning mix. I like the old El Paso. And you need two cloves of garlic. If you don't want to use cloves of garlic, you can use this um, minced garlic. And one teaspoon equals one clove. So we're gonna be using two teaspoons of that. But the first thing we want to do is uh, cook our ground beef. So I'm gonna put it in the pan, I'm going to cook it, and then I'm gonna drain the grease. While my uh, ground beef starts to cook, I wanna show you this too. I want to drain out as much as I, uh, the juice as I can out of this Rotel. I love this little gadget. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Normally you do this over the sink, but I'm just for just to show you how it works. I wanted to uh, just show you doing this over a bowl just so you could see how it works. This fits a, a can of tuna perfect. So, if you ever have trouble getting the, um, if you use a tuna in oil or water or whatever, uh, you can just use this right over the sink and it'll go right down the drain. And I just shake it like this and just get out as much as possible. You don't have to get it all out. And then just turn it back over. That's it. So, I've... I've I've drained my ground beef, so what you want to do is just dump the whole bag of potatoes, the shredded potatoes, into your crock pot. And I had this bag, um, I took it out of the freezer, and I had it in the refrigerator for probably two hours. So, I mean, it's still frozen. You can see it's in a hug, but if you can break it apart, that's great. It'll just, if you put it in there for a couple of hours, it'll just make it easier to deal with this way. And then we're gonna put our um, ground beef that we just cooked in there. And then we're gonna start adding our cans. I have my, uh, my cheddar cheese and the Rotel. And then I have the taco seasoning, put the whole the whole packet of taco seasoning. And then our two teaspoons of the minced garlic. And then you want to, as far as your shredded cheese goes, I have a two cup bag which is, um, it's an eight ounce bag. So I'm gonna use half the bag and I'm gonna pour, pour half the bag on there now and then we're gonna mix it together. Now you want to take your, the rest of your cheese and put it over the top. for five, four to five hours on low or for two and a half hours on high. Well, I always cook everything on high in the crock pot because I think it cooks slow anyway. So I have mine set to high. I will probably uh, let this cook for about four hours and uh, I'm gonna cover it of course, but then we'll be back to see how it looks. So this has been in the crock pot for about three hours. I'm just, I have a big spoon. 
And I'm just gonna, oh, and it didn't stick to the side at all. So that's nice. And I'm just gonna spoon some out here on a plate like you would regular hush brown casserole. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to try this. It smells good, it and I really like chili powder, and I like tacos and I stuff like that. I like potatoes. Like that. Yeah, and so ground we, beef. <laughs> yeah, and we like yeah we like those Orida shredded hash browns. Oh yeah, I love those. And so um, when I saw this on Facebook, it was like, oh, that looks really nice. And I'm not even a member on Facebook of like a um, a recipe group or anything. You get things recommended, and I think the more you click on certain types of things, the more you get... Excuse them, do you? Yes, so I get a lot of um, recipes that are recommended, even though I don't follow any of them. It's very hot. Very hot, okay. Heat hot. Heat Not hot. Spicy. Okay. I'm wondering how much flavor it'll have, though, because you do use a whole packet of the tacos, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's, um, it does remind you of tacos. It's not quite as strong as a taco, but it mm -hmm. has similar flavors to a taco. I thought about two things you could do different. I mean, you could you could change this if you wanted to. Okay. Not that it, not that this is not good. I think this is awesome. I like this. Mm -hmm. Um, I definitely think if you have, I'm wondering we have some taco sauce. Taco sauce would be one I would put in. So. Taco sauce is an option you can have. You know what would be really good if you didn't want this kind of shredded potato? What? The potatoes with the peppers and onions in it. The little cubes, like the breakfast potatoes. Oh, they sell breakfast potatoes. The breakfast, they, they, have, sell. they have peppers and onions mixed into them. Mm -hmm. I think those would be really good with this too. I'm going to try this. Because it would add a little bit of uh, that pepper and onions flavor. No, like I said, not that this is bad. This is really good. I like it. Okay, let's see. Because we're literally eating it straight out of the crock pot. I figured that would change it. It turns it into a taco. Yeah. I figured Total, that would change it. Like, like you are eating a taco. The only thing that I don't have is the crispy taco shell. Because I eat crispy tacos. We'll get you some tortillas. Um, <laughs> we got some tortillas up there. Please try just a little dot. Hear me? What? We got tortillas in there. We cabinet. do? Hmm? Oh Those my gosh. Yeah, but should you really have tortillas and potatoes? Are you not supposed to have, are, don't they, isn't that like double carbs or something? That, do, do I look like I'm watching carbs? I mean, really. Um, I love that with the taco. Yeah, um, the taco sauce. You have to have the taco sauce. If you're going to do this, you have to have that. So this needs to be on the ingredients. Now we're going to try it. Kevin's going to try it. Okay. That is so good. It does add a lot. I tell you what, the almond I sauce. I love it. It's really good, but I would not want a lot of that. I put like, I need to mix mine up more. Um, mm. It kills all the other flavors. That's all you taste. It's real strong. These are supposed to be scoops, but you see how some of them are. Oh. You want your crispiness. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I forgot we had these up there. Mm. It just adds a texture. We just add all kinds of stuff to it. You make your meals your, your own, you know? It's pretty good. Mm hmm. Crush them up and sprinkle them on top. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. You know what? You don't need them, though. I'm going to be honest. It's good with those. I like it. I like the extra crunch. And you probably like the salt. I love the salt. Um, but I like it better with just this, the taco sauce. I love it. I don't need, as much as I love Tostito scoops, I like it with just this. And that's how I'm gonna eat it. Those are potatoes. It's just like that. And don't, just like, drown it. Yeah, see, I put too much on that. I have to stir it. But that is so good. And it really feels like you're eating taco. Um, you know how if you make a, a taco dip, sometimes you add beans and stuff to it? The potatoes kind of has that same texture mm. as a bean would have. It's kind of got that, I won't say, well, kind of pasty. Yeah. Kind of pasty texture like a refried bean would have. So it adds that kind of texture to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. And you can make it your own. Like I said, add taco sauce to it. 
dip tortillas in it, get you some Fritos and dip in there. Put well, Fritos on the bottom of your plate and scoop this on top of it. Ooh, that'd be good. Um, Fritos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd well, the thing about it is, is before we added anything to it, it was a lighter flavor. It was, so, kind of, it was a little plain. It was, so you still got like, yes, there is an underlying taco flavor because you had taco seasoning, but it didn't, it wasn't like kicked up to the next yeah. level. Whereas. It wasn't jazzy. It was, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't strong enough for me at least. Yeah. So this really takes it to that next level to where it really does come across as taco. For me, now this wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put this in a crunchy taco, but I tell you what, if you had some soft tortilla shells, Oh, you could tell it. You could wrap a, this in a tortilla mm -hmm. shell and have like a burrito. Mm -hmm. I think Taco Bell's had a, like a potato. Oh, I'm sure. And, the, I'm sure and beef they have. Yeah. Taco or uh, burrito. Well, this is definitely hearty, stick to your ribs mm -hmm. type of food. It was it's easy because you just throw it in the crock pot. Really easy. Part. Yes, really easy. Um, and it did not take long because I always cook. Like I said, I cook everything on high. Yeah. And the potatoes I had had in the refrigerator, I took them out of the freezer and I had them in the refrigerator like two hours before I was going to cook them. So they were already... They had to thaw out. Right. No, not really. Um, but yeah, this is definitely that comfort food that I seek out this time of year. When it gets cooler outside, I hearty just... Hearty food. Hearty food. Yeah, absolutely. So if you all try it, you'll have to let us know. You'll have to let us know if you made any... Um, Changes, adjustments additions. yeah <laughs> adjust, if you had, had any notes <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching